things we're trying to do is make the way that students learn software development as similar as possible as the way kind of the great software companies do software development. If you think of many of the, 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 the big high-tech companies, the Googles, the Facebooks, um, ThoughtWorks, uh, lots of different companies, they have teams all around the world. Uh, programming development is not something that just happens in one place by people who can talk to each other. And the great thing about UNE is actually we can do that. UNE's been in distance education for the longest continuous time of any Australian university. And so as well as having a great on-campus cohort, we've got students in Sydney, in Perth, in Hong Kong. Um, in some years, we've got students in Canada and the Netherlands as well. And so in our software engineering studio unit, we get all of our students working together on the same project. We, we do distributed software development. The numbers are quite terrific. Uh, so over the last term, there were 17,500 messages between the students uh, on the project. Uh, they wrote about 23,000 lines of code, uh, 1,000 different commits, different changes to the code base. And uh, we get them using all of the tool chain, all of the systems that, uh, that you'd expect to see uh, in, in one of these really great software teams. Most of the time in software development, eventually, is not writing the code that's the hard bit. Uh, it's very often the human aspect. What should this thing do? How can we design this to solve a problem for someone? And so we, we tend to try and find very interesting problems that we can put the students on. So this last term, they were working together on an open world game. And you can think of all the different possible things that you could put into an open world game from uh, uh, chat systems, uh, AI to physics systems, uh, whatever you like you could put in there. Next time around, we're looking at doing a data analysis platform where we, where we get real sensor data and we get the students putting it in and putting different kinds of analysis on it, different kinds of visualizations. Uh, how can we understand this data? How can we how can we show it to people? And really, from very early in students' careers, getting them to kind of think about the the end product and that uh, that what we're doing isn't just a technical task; it's it's a design task, it's a collaborative task, and there, there, there's people, uh, not just code and computers, involved in this. So we get the students using uh, continuous integration systems, distributed version control, uh, deploying their code up to the cloud so it goes from your laptop and you run a command and it builds everything, discovers automatically if there's anything wrong with your code, uh, even can measure things about the quality of your code and can then push it up to a, a, a server running perhaps in Amazon's data center or Microsoft Azure's data center um, within, within minutes. And so the, the students can really see uh, it go end to end from the initial kind of concept of what they're building and collaborative design uh, on an interesting system to seeing it actually running out there and you can connect to it and use it and get your, get your friends using it. <laughs>